Wonderful people next to we me good? are gonna fight for their right to party. Lads, we <laughs> to good. Come into our conference and for the ultimate bragging rights. Are you guys ready for the ultimate battle? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. But before we do, let's talk a little bit more about the game. Madison, Matt. Thanks, Leon. I'm here with Matt Woomer, one of the founders and creators of Brawlhalla. You live? How's it going, Matt? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about what our finalists will be playing today? For Good. sure. They're playing Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is short for the Grand Tournament oh, of Valhalla. Up. Valhalla is the Vikings. <laughs> just making sure we're good, dude. Heaven. Just making sure. And, but the Valkyries haven't just brought Vikings. They brought ninjas. They brought pirates. They brought monsters. They brought aliens. So there's tons of characters for your players to choose from. That sounds awesome. So all the great warriors are there. All the great warriors of the ages. What's and up, fam? How you guys doing? For, for sure, for sure. You want to use the B attack. You want to build up damage. You're going to get two points for each uh, knockout you do. You have two minutes. At the end of two minutes, whoever has the most points gets the golden ticket. Welcome, welcome all. Well, welcome, welcome all. We're about to watch the Ubisoft press conference started. in about three minutes. Everything's going great. This is the fifth press conference right. I've been streaming last. We keep doing no, it. No, no, you guys no, want no. it? I People keep doing it, dude. We got Ubisoft, and then we got Sony right, tonight. Okay, and I button. just finished a Zombies video, a Zombies yeah. news video about the new four Count maps in BO4 for dun, dun, Zombies. Dun, dun. I just finished that, and that's going to come out after this. Yeah, I'm going to render that video after this conference is over. So between this conference and the Sony conference, there'll be a video, and then I'll be streaming the Sony conference tonight, dude. I'm on a grind, bro. Like, come at me. Like, no one can stop me. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and have this full screen, I guess. Don't weave out again. I'm not, bro. It's good. It's good. And finally, we've got Azuri, the cat lady. The cat woman has katars, and she also has a sword, and she'll also be moving in for quick So attacks. happy, dude. It's such a good here. week, man. Some characters have, oh, there we go. Already got a kill. We've got, ooh, another kill. Wow, they're racking them up quick here. The, if you can fight unarmed, and that's I also wouldn't be watching this really happen for you. Thanks, Jesse. Dude, no problem, man. These weapons that are falling from the sky. No problem. Up, you're going to get one of your two Whew. main weapons, and oh, there we go. They have figured out the weapon system. What are you guys excited really for well. for the Ubisoft? The, I'm excited for AC, and I want to see more about the Division because kind of off, I want them to really improve on the first game. Oh, but Assassin's Creed, dude, it's, four four it's my thing, man. I love Assassin's Creed. Can get into I'm excited to see it. Can get in with a nice Assassin's Creed Odyssey. With a kill. I also want Splinter Cell. I want Splinter Cell to come back, dude. I want that to happen. The true. Gorby, wow, 91, doing two dollars. Thank you so much. She's saying laser eyes, right misty trailer coming up. She's yeah, I have no lead. idea what you're talking oh, about. She's picked it up. She's got <laughs> six points. Somebody needs to. We gotta up. stop the zombies <laughs> memes on other conferences. This is nothing to do with zombies. You guys make zombie you memes. You, you guys, guys are crazy. You gotta take it away from Ember. She's right. doing well. <laughs> oh, got the ground pound. She's coming in for it. She's gonna oh, you guys are begging for watchdogs, right really? Looking, looking, looking I don't think we'll get a watchdog. I don't think so. Is she gonna find it? Maybe next yes. year or something, but Eight, I don't know if six, they're still continue five. that series. I have no idea. Oh, six to six. We are tied up. Three, two, one. It is tied. Luckily, this game comes standard with a tiebreaker. I don't know what I'm watching right now. I'm not watching. Deep, deep red. They're going in hard. Champy 60. We good. Quality. I'll turn it down a little bit. <laughs> we have to pick, and the winner is. All right. It'd be really fun to be there, dude. This would be fun. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> Joseph, my man. <laughs> oh man. This man's mic is off. There we go. Here in the fan zone in the theater. Show's about to begin. Hashtag UBE3. Here we go, lads. From everyone here. All the love. It does look like a good game. That game looks sick. Main show. We have exclusive gameplay from the Division Two. You definitely don't want to miss this. Enjoy the show. Here we go. Hype. How many of us are watching right now? A thousand. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. Oh shoot. I'm bad. Hello? Welcome to Ubisoft's E3 2018. Hi, thank you for joining us here in the theater. <laughs> this guy's like, thank you for joining us. On online at home, we cannot wait to show you what we have today. 
and I can promise you it's more interesting than a keychain. Oh. Wow. Too soon, maybe? Too soon? Wow. I don't know. Up in the balcony, are you guys ready? I'm going to turn it up some for you guys. Yes. Down on the main floor, are you guys ready? Let's go, players. There we go, lads. All right, everybody. Everybody at home, are you ready? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah we're bro. We're going to assume that they're ready. <laughs> If you're ready for the biggest gaming, uh, biggest Big show, show in gaming, then let's start the show. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like I like the vibes. Good vibes so far. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Let's have a good show. Good show. Come on. What am I watching? What the freak? Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! Hell yeah, brother! God. Just Dance Battle Royale. This is really loud. This is really loud, lads. Is the audio good? Can you hear me? Put a one if you can hear me. Is it good? Is it fine? Put a one. Yes? Five? <laughs> I'm hyped, dude. I'm hyped. 2,000 of you guys watching right now. Thank you so much. Dude, just keep this going, dude. Let's go. I don't know why I like this. Why do I like this? This is hypnotizing. It's secretly Jason Blundell in the Panda costume. That it is, Weller. You are correct, Weller. Thank you. Thank you. Reveals it. It's Jason. Wow. What on earth? Oh, th they're not done? They're still going!
JJ, what on earth? What on earth, JJ? Battle Royale confirmed, Just Dance, JJ. Battle Royale confirmed. Ah! There's like a random fly in my room? It's really annoying. Frick me. Thank you for the donation, JJ. What's this, lads? Lads? Cook, do you hear me? Roger, Uma. Wait. The crew is dead what? in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. Oh God! I have no yes. Idea what you mean? Our food is healthy, mm, invigorating. I can't believe they're showing this. Captain to crew, dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. El space chili strikes again. Nathan says, "What game are you looking forward to seeing most, JC? Splinter Cell." Bet we could use and Assassin's Creed. I want to see for myself. Thank you. Only you can melt my circuits. Only you can melt my circuits. The key ingredient to good cooking. Dude, this is sick. I can't. I'm happy with this. Oh. Engineering to officers, we are dead in the water. I repeat, main engines are cursed. Nox, come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. Oh my god. Now get back here, Shani. Hold off. Oh. Dude, dude, what the hell? Jade. Oh my God, wow. Wow. That's amazing. Wow, I can't Thank believe you. Hi. Thank you. I, I never put the person but I heard a lot about it. That looked awesome Hello, though. I'm Gabrielle Schrager, narrative director. Paul says, how's it going? Excited for today more than any other. Five dollars for so Super Chat. Thank you so much for five, to be back dude. This year to share our progress on dude, our today's exciting, man. Beyond Good and Evil 2, a game full of wonder, emotion, danger, and high stakes drama. Last year, you all saw the enigmatic green eyed Captain Dakini leading the legendary crew of the God on a quest to discover the location and the mystery behind a deep space artifact known as Moksha. But <laughs> I was like, Jade, no! Jade! Shani is now captain of the Gada, and she's leading her crew into the deep, unexplored space beyond System 3 when they come face to face with their nemesis. Wow. Fans will have recognized a ferocious young Jade. <laughs> They're so hyped for this game. It makes me so happy. And Paige is back as the incorrigible chief cook of the Gada. 
We've got two other officers, Uma, the holistic chief medic, and Callum, our chief engineer. And all of these legendary characters will be playing a major role in our prequel. Today, we are proud to represent our growing production team in Montpellier, Barcelona, Bordeaux, and Sofia. Thanks, everyone, for making it happen. Thank you. Thank you for them. Thank you. Thank you for them. In, B in, B in BGE2, you are a space pirate captain in a distant galaxy near the end of the 24th century. Yep. At this year's E3, we will be showcasing a new behind-closed-doors demo offering a first <laughs> look at our major location, wow. the sacred city of Ganesha. Oh, I want to see it now, man. Let's take a look at our first pre-alpha gameplay oh. footage. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, shoot, lads. Ganesha is a metropolis filled with sacred temples, beautiful gardens, and bustling shops. But it's also a darker underworld, rife with dirty bars and dangerous back alleys. Our game is an action-adventure RPG that you can play alone or with your friends in co-op. Oh. From the intimate interior of a hidden oh. temple to the very edge of the galaxy, fight on the ground and in space at massively different scales. And all of this <laughs> seamlessly. <laughs> what you will be seeing at E3 this year is only a very small part of a much larger open universe we are creating. A universe we are also building with our fans. Yeah, let's go. With Beyond Good and Evil 2, we want our community to participate in a way that's never been done before through the Space Monkey program. We want our fans and people all over the world to really be a part of creating the game. So today, we are issuing an open invitation for people all over the world to contribute their ideas, music, artworks, and create original content that players will experience as they explore the world of Beyond Good and Evil 2. And there is literally a universe of ways for artists to express themselves, from giant frescoes to murals, street art, music, radio content, and much more. To do this, we have partnered with a company at the forefront of community collaboration, Hit Recall. And okay. here to tell us more is their founder, Joseph Gordon Levitt. So, art's in the game? Wait. What? Oh. He's here? Yeah. <laughs> this man is here? What? I love this theater. So thank you guys. Joseph, my thanks boy. To and, and thanks to Gabrielle. It's really good to be here. Um, I'm super excited to do this. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Hit Record is this thing that I've been making for a long, long time. I didn't even know this. And uh, it's a place where people all over the world work together on short films or music or art, all kinds of projects. This is the first time we're making stuff that's going to go into a video game. Um, wow. So it's a little bit different than other like creative platforms um, that you can find on the internet because the point of Hit Record, it isn't just to post and promote stuff that you've made on your own. <laughs> it's Robin Lutz. <laughs> is to collaborate. So like when we're making music for Beyond Good and Evil 2, it's not just going to be a thing like a contest where people submit songs and then we pick one or two of them and we put them in the game. We're going to be really making the songs together. And the same goes for the visual assets that we'll be creating. So whether you're a writer, uh, a musician, an illustrator, if you're a pro-level artist, or if you're just someone who really cares about Beyond Good and Evil and that world and you love it and you want to be a part of it, there's going to be ways for you to contribute. Um, our first creative challenges are live. As of like now, someone's at my office pushing the button, like very nervous. <laughs> you guys are wow, doing great. Dude. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so come to our site, check out the Beyond Good and Evil 2 page at hitrecord.org. And um, that's it. Go do that shit. Thanks. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. That's cool. That's cool, dude. I'm so happy he's here, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Hit Record's approach to community co collaboration is inspiring and we're incredibly happy to be working with Joseph and his team. And we really can't wait to see what the community creates, so let's That's do awesome. It. 
We will be showcasing oh, yeah. some of this content at our very first dedicated community event, the BGE Fest, which will take place in Montpellier this fall. Thanks, everyone. Have a great E3. Thank you. Good. That was awesome. I can't believe he was here, dude. If you guys don't know who that was, then y'all need to watch some more movies, fam. We nailed it. <laughs> you hear him saying, we nailed it? <laughs> that was so pure. What's up, everyone? My name is Justin Kruger, community developer on Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm here today to talk about our community. Our community that inspires us and drives us every single day. The Siege team back in Montreal has actually been so inspired by seeing all of the millions of people playing our game every single day uh, over the past two and a half years. We've actually absolutely loved seeing our community grow and I'm excited to announce today that the Rainbow Six Siege community is now 35 million players. Damn, dude. Yes. Thank you. Mad lad. I wish I could hug every single one of you, but I don't know <laughs> if my arms are big enough to hug every single one of you. Uh, that would take a long time as well. Uh, as you can see, be as the, the community grows, so does the game. And as you can see behind me, Team Rainbow has recruited the Italian GIS operators, Maestro and Alibi. Actually, this image represents 10 seasons, 40 operators, and 19 maps that is all free in-game. And if you want to get to know all of these guys a little bit better, uh, uh, you can play Operation P uh, Parabellum, which is playable right now. And if you want to see them in action at the top of their game, tune into the Rainbow Six Siege Pro League, kicking off on June 18th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. The world's biggest esport teams will be competing for six months of intense Rainbow Six nice, action. Nice, dude. And that's just one of the many ways to enjoy competitions for Rainbow Six. The sixth major is just around the corner and will be hosted in Paris this August. Our Pro League Finals will then take us to Brazil in November. Yeah, wow. Brazil. And then the sixth Invitational wow. will once again be the pinnacle of Rainbow Six, taking place in Montreal in February 2019. Yeah. So whether you're a player or just a fan of esports, there really is no better time to get into Rainbow Six esports. And with the growth of the game, the community, and the esports teams, we wanted to take a, a, a moment to reflect on some of our most influential players. Today, I'm excited to unveil a sneak peek at an upcoming documentary that is focused on a few familiar faces who took their love for Siege to the next level. Okay. Without further ado, here's the first look at Another Mindset. Okay. That is like the greatest injury to ever happen to me, only because uh, it brought siege to me. That hit my heart, man. I've been doing this for what? Since year one, season one, right? And I failed, 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 and then finally we started succeeding. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back. Nathan donated two through Super Chat saying, not much I know, but you can have it. Much love, Jason. Dude. You don't have to donate, man. It's not a requirement to donate. I, I just, I'm happy if you're here, man. I'm happy if you're here. Like, I appreciate it so much. But you don't have to, man. Don't do it if you, if you, if you can't, you know. You don't have to do it. <laughs> but thank you, though, Nathan. I really appreciate it, dude. I really appreciate that. I want to see. I I just want them to show us Assassin's Creed, honestly. Hmm. Okay. What's this? What on earth? Whoa. 
Oh my gosh, trials! Oh! What's this trials game gonna be? I love trials back on 360, man. Revive my hype for trials. Oh! What is this? What is going on? What is going on, dude? Trials is all about grassing with style and getting up again. Hello! Hello! I'm Antil Vasso, creative director of Trials and also Prime Minister of Finland. Now I'm this guy is amazing. Now the trial is back and it's bigger than ever. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm excited to see this. I want to see this really bad. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, you can have that many people? Oh my god. You guys don't know how fun this game is, dude. Freaking love trials, man. I'm hyped for this. I'm all about this, dude. Trials rising. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, Smack is doing five super chat. Thank you so much, dude. Saying, you ever try Rainbow Six, my dude? I'm thinking Sorry, of getting it that. if it goes on Steam sale, but I'm not sure. You yeah, we played a video. I made a video of it of playing Rainbow Six with like Lex and all them. It was a ton of fun, dude. <sighs> I uh, we Royal really like the game. I'm not like into it, into it, but I played it before. Locations. You never ride alone, and competition is everywhere. Thank you so much for that, those masks. Thank you. Competition is nothing without the players, and our community has always been pillar of trials. In Trials Rising, we work with our players more than ever. To explain more, let me introduce Brad Hill, also known as Professor Fat Shady. Okay. Professor Fat Shady? Did he, did he say that? You made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Auntie, and hello, everyone. Okay. You see, OTHD down the front. I see Evolution it. was the best. Yeah, I Evolution was the best. I've been trials because it's challenging, but so rewarding when you overcome something difficult. But I soon realized that a number of playable players struggled with the harder levels. So in 2013, I created the University of Trials, a YouTube channel dedicated to mastering oh trials. Oh god, playing. I didn't know now, this. Before I go on, Ubisoft star players, I want you guys to make some big noise right now. I didn't even know this. All right. Well, five years ago, I was a star player just like them. But when Red Links began work on Trials Rising, they approached me to design and create all of the tutorial content within the game. Oh, shoot! It has been an amazing experience for me. But I wasn't the only one involved. <clears throat> 20 community members, known as the Trials Elite, up there, have been involved in the development of this game for the last two years. That's awesome. Whether they were track builders, streamers, or speedrunners, each bought something special. Treyarch, if you ever, if you ever have, want now, any advice you want to get involved, for zombies, I mean, just online I could help. I got some good com. ideas, you know, just. Closed beta happening later this year. You know what I'm saying? Good. You know what I'm saying, Treyarch? Like, Is it? hey, yeah. Trials did it. Let's go. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey. You don't, we're not going to put a big coming soon up here. 
I think people are going to want to know the release date. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're right. Trias Rising will release on February 2019 on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and the first time ever also Nintendo Switch. Yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, it's a good announcement, dude. Oh! Oh! That's gonna do well. That's gonna do well, man. You guys really need to try this game out. It's sick. Come to our booth. Even if you're not into... So what trials is about. If you're even not into again. trials, Let's it's... Get out. Like, if you're not into you're racing games or anything like that, please try it, because I'm not either, and I love it. I love it, dude. It's the physics of it. It's so much fun, and it's so much fun to compete against your friends and try to get to the end first. It's a lot of fun. And the, the levels are insane. It's basically like, it's just crazy. It's insane. Is it? In, yeah, donate two dollars to just saying. If it's like Trials Evolution, I'll crap my pants. It looks like it. It looks like the next step, bro. I played Fusion. I didn't like Fusion as much, but I like th this. Looks sick. <laughs> oh my God. Oh! 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 Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it, man. Oh, I'm excited for that. That's I, I'm. That's the the best thing so far for me. I love trials, man. What's this? Division? Yeah. Woody says, "Josh, super chat. Thank you so much, Woody. Yo, I'm back. Trials Rising looks insanely good. It does, dude. It looks sick. It's like eight player My levels name too." Is Julian Garrity, and I'm the creative director on Tom Clancy's The Division 2. All right. All right. On Black Friday, Look at the a strain of the smallpox virus was released on dollar bills in New York City. The infection and chaos spread across the nation. Seven months later, the virus has mostly burnt itself out, but America is tearing itself apart. Washington, D.C. is at the heart of this battle. Under constant threat from dangerous factions, civilians are trying to rebuild. In their survival lies the seed for the rebirth of society. Okay. You have to wow me with this. I'm telling you. Because the first one had no story. I don't care what anybody says. There was no story. The things he's talking about, I didn't even know when I played the entire first game. Alright. Is this Samantha, bro? I'll stop. I shouldn't have said that. I just caused so many zombie memes. I told you guys not to do zombie memes. I made one myself. Oh no. This looks cool though. So far. Okay. It's a big difference. I, I do like the fact there's no snow. I love that. Thank you for that, Winter Force. Thank you so much, dude. I'm liking this. This looks a lot better. The vibe of this one's a lot better.
Oh. Okay. Jesus. Where's the beanie? Oh, he doesn't have a beanie. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Okay. That was a good trailer, but no gameplay. We saw gameplay before at the other conference. It's good. It's good though. You are the last line of defense for those civilians and for the country. If you fail, history will be written by tyrants. Okay. If you succeed, history will remember the few brave heroes who fought to save a dying nation. This setting lays the groundwork for a compelling story-based campaign in which your actions have a clear impact on the lives of civilians. In the Division II, Washington DC must prepare for the greatest threat it has ever encountered. Shut up about Samantha. I see you guys Face saying it. Samantha in the chat. <laughs> you and your fellow agents will need to bring your equipment and tactical abilities to the next level. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is cool, Supin. Once agents reach the end of the main campaign, it's time to select a new progression path by picking a specialization. Okay. It starts with the choice of a signature weapon, powerful, and unique weapons that complement the rest of your equipment. As you progress with your specializations, you will not only grow in power, but also unlock additional tools and abilities, including exclusive versions of skills. Specializations enable you to truly complete your own personal playstyle, but also to synergize with other players and take team play even further. Speaking of teamwork, I'm excited to announce that for the first time, eight players will be able to partner up wow. to face the ultimate endgame challenge. Raids are coming to the Division oh. 2. Oh. 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 I like how they just come out and say, it's a raid. Raids. We're just calling it raids. We learned like, a lot. We learned a lot from working on the first game. And with the Division 2, we're launching with plans for years of frequent major content updates. Today, we're ready to outline our plans for year one. We will be launching three DLCs in the form of episodes. Each one okay. will bring new story, new areas to explore, and new activities. And the best part, all of these episodes will be completely free. Damn! 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 I... You're wowing me. You're wowing me. You're doing it. I didn't like the first game that much, but you're wowing me here. Where's my division team? This is this. Oof. Stay tuned after the Ubisoft conference for oof. an exclusive 30 minute deep dive into our playable E3 demo during our post show. As you can see, they're getting ready <laughs> right now and they'll be playing right after hey guys. the conference is done. 
Meanwhile, Destiny's over here have with all these paid DLCs. Until they just one-upped them big time remember, with this. This is history's defining moment. Ooh. Hope for the future lies in you, agents of the division. Thank you. I gotta give them props for that, dude. I gotta give them props for that. That was good. As long as there's content at the start of this game, there's 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 hope it's gonna be good. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm I'll remain hopeful. I will wait to see people play it though before buying it. Honestly, looks good though. God. What's about to happen, dude? Hi, I'm Xavier Manzanares, lead producer. And it's an honor to be back here one year after we announced for the first time and released a game. It was incredible. So, as a team, I just wanted to thank all of you for the support and all the feedbacks we received. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, we also started a year ago to work on a brand new adventure and with a brand new hero as well, one that we cherish and we love, Donkey Kong. So, for today, oh. uh, we wanted to... Uh, celebrate the upcoming release of the Donkey Kong Adventure. And uh, what better with music than with Grant Kirkhope, our composer, and the band Critical Hits. So please enjoy. Thank you. OK. Changed your entrance, so it changes apologize. every day, every second you change. <laughs> <laughs> they leave the mics on, and you can hear them complaining about it. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? I'm so sorry they change it. It changes every day, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh man, don't you love live things?
See, for me, I just don't care much for this. It's cool. I respect it. On the mics it's so funny he's like you're gonna come out and you're gonna go on stage it's like you can hear it it's so funny like that they don't have the mics like they have them going on before they're on I love it This... What? Brian? Brian, what? <laughs> oh. It was over. The old guard was wiped out. Those who kneeled were now at the gates of hell. They were killing us off. Burning our seas from shore to shore. There was no way the Empire could win this game. As fate would have it, the tide turned in our favor again. A new wind was at our backs, blowing us straight to that, that, This is that pirate game, right, Skull and Bones? In our new Eden, there was only one rule. First come, first serve. Ooh. Captain! Look! We became kings. Queens, oh. lords, and masters of our own new worlds. Fortunes poured down on us. They had their empire. Now it was our turn. Enemies became friends. Friends became enemies. The best didn't and trust anyone. It's only coming on my right the ear. The philosophy of the day was more and more. At the top of the food chain. Well, we thought we were. In a dog eat dog world, we were wolves.
hunt in packs. World of Skull and Bones, there are soulless empires. There are greedy trading companies, and of course, ruthless pirate games sailing the seas. But there are no heroes. Hello, my name is Justin Farron, Creative Director at Ubisoft Singapore. Love the and scarf. for the past year, my team and I have been anxiously awaiting this moment to invite you, our fans, to join the hunt here at E3 2018. Okay. Piracy is dead in the Caribbean. The empires crushing all those who oppose them. So your next big score? The Indian Ocean, home to the richest trade routes in the world, where merchant ships carry cargo worth over 10 billion dollars a year and you you're gonna steal every last fucking coin <laughs> what? first you need a target you pick up intel on a heavily guarded frigate fat with african diamonds meant for the grand mogul of india that treasure will help you claw your way to the top to become the pirate that no empire can take down second you must know your hunting ground our reactive and evolving world is reflected in what we call fortunes, presented to you by Taljeed, the fortune teller. Now, fortunes reveal changes in factions, weather, and the trade routes themselves. Language. Today, Taljeed reveals favorable winds. That means more merchants to rob, but also more competition. And now I'm proud to share with you the essence of Skull and Bones, a shared world where every player encounter matters. Dude, see if these are shaken. Or will you ally? This is what we call the hunting grounds. All right, pirates. Let's head to the hideout and have a great E3. Interesting. See if, the see if thieves in this game. Your hunt for the convoy starts oh. here. In your hideout, deep within the Chagos Islands. This looks really cool. This hidden pirate den provides everything you need for your next strike. From your shipyard, you choose the Black Horn for the upcoming battle. The strong winds will boost its speed, giving its battering ram a devastating punch. Next, you choose the right crew and gear for the mission ahead. Demi cannons are slow loading, but deadly at short range. Rockets are blazing fast. And deal powerful damage from every angle. This With is so cool. Loaded, let's head out. The winds are strong and the day is clear. That means more merchants to rob, but also more rival pirates out looking for a quick score. According to your Whoa. intel, the convoy is sailing past a Portuguese fort, taking advantage of the strong winds. There she is, with our loot! That fort is too strong to simply sail past. Its cannons can blast you out of the water. You need to find a way to sneak by before the convoy slips away. Rexite, Captain! This looks great! Fortunately, deception is another tool in the pirate's arsenal. Let's fool these blackguards! How do you guys feel about this one? This looks so cool. As a Portuguese merchant, you try to creep past the fort. Captain, if we engage, they will see it through our guides. Portuguese merchant and escort! This island provides perfect cover for a surprise attack. Plot the optimal course for an intercept, rigging your sails for speed. You want to catch your victim off guard. Captain, there she is. I love the lookout guy. That's so cool. Fire she bangs. Oh frick. The jubilation of <laughs> Captain, the ship's ready. 
There's a freaking fly in my room. Powerful Portuguese warship. At the helm is a Commodore. Too tough to handle on your own. Even worse, you could lose your loot. You need help, and you need it fast. That one's with us! Other captains have answered your call. Four against one should even the odds. side forms a tight squadron using a coordinated battle plan. The enemy strikes first. The first ship goes down, breaking your formation. It's literally like they took Assassin's Creed's sailing and made a game completely out of it. The Commodore turns his cannons on you. You brace for fire, absorbing the first blow. Your allies maneuver for position. The Royal Fortune acts as a tank, drawing the Commodore's fire. It unleashes its special ability, Siege Mode. Once anchored, huh? He can fire its cannons without limits. The Jaeger slips into position with its powerful cannon. Its special ability delivers eight shots in a single blast, increasing the odds for a critical hit. The Royal Fortune can't hold out much longer. It's up to you to land the killing blow. Ram into it. The battle is won. But the glitter of gold can turn new allies into deadly enemies. For there is no honor among thieves. Dang. Why is there why are you open Z's in the chat? What are y'all talking about? Y'all your attention span's gotta be so let me calm down. It's okay. We're gonna get to everything. It's cool. She's a she's a ship going for five minutes. Z Z To the digital space. Oh, I remember. This is something they announced last year, isn't it? We're completely safe. What was this? What was this? I forgot what this was. Hello, everyone. My name is Elijah Wood. Wait, it's Elijah Wood. Wood. I didn't realize that. Though we're known for our film content, we're also avid gamers. And the opportunity to partner with Ubisoft was something we had to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And my name is Benoit Shri, game director on Transference. <laughs> my boy? We combine the storytelling techniques of film with the interactivity of video games, enabling us to create this unique, deeply immersive world with a dark and unsettling narrative. Have you ever dreamed of entering someone else's consciousness, exploring their darkest thoughts and most intimate secrets? In Transference, with Transference, we're bringing a... No. With Transference, we're bringing a first-person <laughs> exploration <laughs> game into a chilling new dimension. To escape, you must go hands-on to search for clues, solve puzzles while shifting between the perspectives of each family member, and attempt to piece together their mystery. 
This fall, in VR and on traditional platforms, we welcome you to uncover the secrets hiding in this mind-bending psychological thriller that will leave you with haunting memories long after you put down the controller. I'll play this, this dude. is Transference. I'll play this, man. My boy, Frodo. What's going on? He's not a hobbit, guys. Here's mom. You're gonna sit here real soon, okay? Just hold still. Don't believe his lies. Okay, are you comfortable? I know this rig's a bit cumbersome, but that's always the way with these new prototypes, huh? <gasps> and all you have to do is just... Just be. I know things haven't been so great lately, okay? So I do. Big ben. I've been a lousy father, huh? I'm unable. I'm lousy husband, too. You should go to sleep. You've seen how rotten that's gotten, huh? What the heck? But all that is gonna change. We're all gonna be together. All of our hard work. Reverse the process. All of our sacrifices. That's my gift to you. To us. Help me! Help me! Please! What the hell? What the f Dad? Why are you doing this? I love you. Son. I love you with all of my heart. This looks interesting as hell. That game looks cool. I want to play that. I have waited so long for this. What is this? We will sacrifice the world of Atlas to the harvest. Let's get out there. Go show them what Starlink can do. What? No Man's Sky 2? The Legion is growing. There aren't enough of us. We need to find help from every planet in Atlas. Oh, this, I remember this game now. I remember it now. You like customize your ship. The more of us there are, the stronger each of us is. Exactly. You must feed my legion. Grax isn't going to stop until we end this. <laughs> We'll finish this. Starling. Interesting. I remember seeing that last year. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Laurel Melville, creative director on Starlink Battle for Atlas. Last year revealed our modular starship innovation to the world and showed you how players could reconfigure it instantly to adapt to any challenge. This year, we're excited to show you what the, the depth of the open world that we've built and put the game directly into your hands. We're going to take you on a journey 400 light years away from Earth to the Atlas star system. Discover exotic planets meet fascinating local factions, and forge your alliance. Upgrade your pilots, starships, and gear, and unleash devastating combos to save Atlas from the relentless Forgotten Legion. The mission will not be easy. Atlas is a dangerous place, and our heroes will need all the help they can get. 
Okay. JCC the five remastered. I have a video coming out today. Don't worry, don't worry. I got a video. We'll talk about it later. Could use a little help here. To be can fair, I can, I can see people liking this. That was a cool reveal. Also, now y'all care. Now you care. I get it. Now you care. You guys, I'm gonna fight you guys. When comes Star Fox, now you guys care. Battle for Atlas. Now you guys care. Isn't that is so funny. It's amazing. That is so funny. Ever since I started working on Star Wars, oh I wanted to invite Fox <laughs> and his crew into the game. And Star Fox on Super Nintendo was the first 3D game I've ever played, and I'll never forget that. And so for me, this moment is a dream come true. And this dream was only made possible thanks to our long relationship with Nintendo. We can't wait oh. to play Fox on the Nintendo Switch. Bro, I thought he just said the F word. I would word. like to give you, to give a special <laughs> thanks to a dear friend with, with us in the audience today. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Miyamoto. Oh, now you care. Now you care. Can y'all stop the Z's in the chat, please? Can you stop them? Stop the Z's. Stop it. Look at this man. He's so happy to be there, man. Oh. So I, I know you were coming today, so I came with a gift. You know, it's the first prototype of the vessel oh. that you with such so. Do you like it? Yeah. Super. So, thank you very much. Um, so, it, it is uh, actually um, a vessel that has been created by the team, and they, they would be so happy to see you backstage. So, let's go and join them. Thank you. This is a cool partnership, dude. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Miyamoto, and thank you, Eve. For everyone at E3, please be sure to come by the Ubisoft booth where we'll have a full hands-on demo for you to try. For everyone else, Starlink will launch on all consoles on October 16th with Star Fox as an exclusive Nintendo Switch experience. That's thank awesome. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Check out StarlingGame.com to pre-order the game right after the conference. Thank you so much for being here today, and have a great E3. I'm hyped, lads. That was good. What was that? Oh. For honor.
streamers, cosplayers, artists, tournament organizers, and all of our players, you are for honor. Indeed. Hello, I'm Roman Campos Oyola, creative director. Whether it be upgraded stability with the dedicated servers, release of heroes, constant balancing and new training tools, we would not be here without your passion and commitment. You've helped us enrich the experience. Thank you. <laughs> but actions speak louder than words, right? In celebration of E3, we are inviting new players to join. So, if you haven't played For Honor yet, now is your chance. Starting today and until next Monday, we are giving away the PC Starter Edition on Uplay. Download it this week on PC and it's yours. Oh, shoot. For free. Wow. So come, join the fight with us. But that's not all. Oh. Because building on everything that we've learned, we are now ready to expand our world. Oh, shoot. All right. Wow me here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brothers. After the great cataclysm that brought knights, vikings, and samurai to fight, civil war consumed China. Warriors of the Wulin factions fought each other, but failed to establish order. Amid the chaos, four warriors of the Wulin now marched west. With a new faction, four new fighters, visual enhancements, and single player content yet to be revealed, the Marching Fire update is our biggest and most ambitious addition so far. But this update would not be complete without answering a huge request from our community. A new 4v4 multiplayer mode fulfilling the classic medieval fantasy. You know what it is? The Castle Siege. So please, allow me to introduce you to this new mode, Breach. Okay. In-game 4K footage? Damn.
Horizon Drag Remaster. God dang it. Why'd I read that? <laughs> Mad lad. I didn't really play the first one, so. Oh no, man. Hi, everyone. I'm Delphine Dosset, brand director on The Crew 2. Ooh. In just a few days, freedom will be yours. Can you freedom write to, to get Devolver your hands Digital Conference? On your dream car, uh, I'm only doing Sony. I'm sorry. Plane and unleash your passion for motorsports all across the United States. Weller, I'm sorry, The Crew 2 releases Thank you, on sorry. June 29th, and we are very happy to announce that the open beta will be available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on June 21st. But there's more. You can preload the open beta right now, Ooh. so you'll be ready to hit the road as soon as it starts. From all of us at Ivory Tower, welcome to The Crew 2. This looks good. Oh shoot. Alright. Brother, hell yeah, brother. The sonic music make you hard to Jesus Christ. What? Thank you, Mookie. But what? What? I'll probably check it out. I'll probably check it out, dude. I'm down for open betas. I'm down. I'm down. Not too long away, too. It's literally like two weeks away. Ooh. Oh, please. 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 How can a child save us all if he's sentenced to die? Tell me, Nikolaus. Tell me before you let our son go. Oh! Where we begin does not define who we will become. Before you, I see a path. Oh, Built by friendship and family. Love and loss, war and bloodshed. You were sent by the gods to protect this world. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. What? A 
As you write your odyssey across the mountains and the seas, remember, the fate of Greece journeys with you. This looks amazing! Hell yes! Yes! That was great. Oh! Damn, that looks beautiful. Oh! Oh! That looks so sick! Thank you, thank you. I'm Jonathan Dumont, creative director of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Wow. Wow. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is more than just an adventure. It truly is a role-playing journey. You will explore on land and sea one of the most iconic and influential settings in human history, ancient Greece. Oh. The golden age of Athens saw the rise of democracy, modern medicine, revolutionary art, and Western philosophy. Look at that. But it was also a time of war. A devastating conflict between Sparta and Athens, the Peloponnesian War, divided the Greek world and changed the course of history. In this world of contrast and opportunity, this land shaped by the gods rages a battle between order and chaos. This is where your adventure begins. You, a simple mercenary, an outcast, to take on an incredible quest to save your loved ones and become the legendary Greece, uh, Greek hero uh, Greece desperately needs. Our teams in Quebec and from around the world have spent the last three years putting all their energy, passion, and dedication into this project. Wow. We have continued to transform Assassin's Creed into an epic RPG experience. An RPG in which you will not just play an Odyssey, but your Odyssey, shaped by your actions and choices. And the first choice you'll make at the start of the game is to choose your character. Oh! Oh! Alexios or Cassandra? Cassandra, yes! Oh! Woo! Plain as Cassandra. Plain as Cassandra, dude. And you play that character oh. for the entire game. Wow. You share the what? bloodline of a legendary Spartan hero and bear his mysterious weapon. Wow. Your turn. Now I need a spear. I'll get to the donations You're in a second, guys. Now. Oh shoot! My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you are ready. <laughs> Think of Leonidas. He had great courage, and he made a great sacrifice. Thank you so much for that daily friend. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Thank you so much for the twenty. Possessed. Escape force dead though. <laughs> the oh. broken spear of Leonidas gives oh. you access to powerful range, combat, and stealth abilities that you can unleash on your enemies. It's like magical. Oh. And for the first time, we have deeply changed the way we tell stories in Assassin's Creed. You can now truly interact with history like never before. <laughs> Perhaps when I was thinner, both in weight and philosophy. So, tell me, oh. were you able to resolve the situation without bloodshed? The rebel had guards. I relieved them. Hmm. I love Interesting. her! You thought the life of a thief and a murderer was worth more than that of soldiers doing their duty. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest. And what of the rebel? Do they have choices and... Halfway to Mykonos by now. Oh, really? You let that lunatic run loose? Are you sure that was wise? I'm not sure approaching you was wise. 
Our choices are like ripples on water. They seem tiny and insignificant at the beginning, but they can become devastating tidal waves by the time they run their course. Over the next few days, wow. you can experience this for yourself here at e -Tree in our playable demo. And for you at home, here's a full gameplay sequence of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Wow. Thank you, have a great E3. They made it like, like more like Fallout or something where you choose the dialogue. That's sick. They've never had that. Oh yes. We got a new sponsor. Yo! Gim? Is that how you say your name? Oh, I see what your name says. I'm not gonna say your name. <laughs> Give me that shot, boy. Thank you so much for the sponsorship, dude. Really, really appreciate it, man. Oh, man. Ah, Mykonos Island. Built from the corpses of giants slain by the legendary Iraklis. Read me the note again. Eagle bearing Mystios. That's you. I'll get to the next. I see what you're saying. Small but fierce <laughs> group of rebels. I want to hear. Pay you handsomely to help us overthrow our Athenian oppressors. A warrior named Diocles fights with them. None who face him survive. Please, Mystios. Our people are dying. Signed, Kira. What did your informant tell you? I love her accent. Word has already spread of you sinking those ships. There's wow. a price on your head. Whew, that didn't take long. There's also word of Spartans landing on Mykonos. So, I'm here to find Kira who wants me to kill the Oclis. An Athenian ally. Who's at war with Sparta? And don't forget the bounty! Business as usual then. <laughs> Gods protect you, Cassandra. Thanks, Varnavas. But they'll be too busy protecting the Ocles from me. We can spot it! Go! Oh. I'll handle this! Fight them for all your worth! Oh? Dang, you can run fast in this game compared to the other one. Ella. Dude, this is so pretty, dude. God. Mercenary, this can't be good. You're chasing your own death, mercenary. You're chasing your own death. Oh! You want my head? Come and take it. Oh, you can't defeat me. Bro, I'm liking the look of this, bro. Holy, you really should have left me alone. Hell, dude. Damn. Damn! Oh! Oh! God. Oh, 
Novus was right. And it's a made themselves Cassandra greater than Scarlet greater than Misty. Dude, maybe. Maybe, bro. Nah. nah, nah. <laughs> Thank you, though, man. Uh, Mookat. Wait. Oh, I'm I looking already for read Kira. Mookat. What do you want with her? Oh, no. It's another one for Mookat. Mookat, calm down with those, bro. Calm <laughs> the down. The mercenary who bears the Eagle of Zeus. You got my message. It said something about paying me handsomely. <laughs> Mercenaries. Athenians have enslaved our people for too long. Help us free Mykonos from their grasp, and you'll have more Rahmi than you can carry. I'm here to kill the Ocles, not go to war. Which is why I sent word of a rebellion to you and Sparta. My men are ferocious in a ground assault. But we're outnumbered. And the Ocles fights with the fury of Ares. Join us in battle. If you're half the warrior Kira says you are, we'll grind these Athenians into dust. All right, Spartan. I'll fight with you. But the Ocles is mine. To battle then. Who ate my damn chick? Oh my god! Jesus! the ultimate oh 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 my god Got the eagle in there, man. What the hell was that? What the music? Oh, October fifth. Too many games, bro. There's too many. There's too many. Hi, everyone. And thank you for joining us. And thanks to everyone watching from home. To our teams, it's an honor to work with some of the best in the world. Congratulations on a great show. Come on, one more thing. Come on, one more thing. Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. I am a good. I am an <laughs> I am an optimistic guy and I am particularly excited about the future of technology and the positive role games will play in shaping our society. To create these games, we need to work even more openly with you the gamers because we know when we do that together Everything gets better. So have a great history. Thank you very much. There's no splitter cell. Wow, I thought there'd be a splinter cell. Hey everybody, welcome to the post. Wow.
It was a great conference. I was... Alright, I'll show the division while I'm talking. Alright, let me read some of these donations really quick, guys. Tell me the co uh, in the chat right now what you guys think about that conference. Like, rate it like a 1 through 10 scale. Uh, Campbell donated a dollar. Thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you, Anthony. Again, thank you, Gimme. And again, Daily, thank you so much for that 20, man. Again, you've been donating so much on these streams, man. I really, really appreciate it. Like, beyond belief, dude. Like, thank you so much. Uh, who ate my damn chicken? Donate two hours. Super saying, hey, JC, have you seen the 5 remaster? I have. We don't know if it's a 5 remaster yet, I don't think. But I have seen it, and I'm going to have a video coming up very, very soon. I already have it done. I just got to upload it and stuff after this stream. And it's going to be coming out before I stream the Sony conference tonight. Um, let's see. I think... I think Jay Pizzle doing the same thing. $4 from just saying, hey, just need to hear about the Fire Remaster. Thank you guys so much for all the nations. And Jay, thank you so much for the $4, man. Uh, I did. I have a video coming out. I I'm telling you. I have it coming out. Uh, I want to actually see a little bit of this before I go. Because this actually looks pretty cool. Um, I want to see how the Division is this year. Because it, it was looking a lot better. Like, honestly. And the free DLC is great. Um, not going to lie. Okay. It looks very much like Division 1, though. Like, even the HUD looks exactly the same. But, I mean, it's a sequel. But, like, hey, DLC's free for it, man. I see a lot of you guys. Let me, let me scroll back up and see what you guys... I, one? Come on, guys. It wasn't a one. It wasn't a one. I see some eights, seven, sevens. Fives, six. I think I think we'll give it a. I think we should give it a solid seven. Pretty good conference. Pretty like a little bit better than average, right? Like six and five is about average. Seven's a little bit better than that. Pretty good conference overall. Not a lot of cringy stuff. There wasn't a lot of cringy stuff. So maybe a seven or an eight. Uh, I might give it an eight. Just I enjoyed my time mostly throughout it. Uh, but there was no splinter cell. Which everyone thought it was gonna be a splinter cell, and. There wasn't like a huge surprise too much. Uh, at least I don't think there was. I'm trying to think if there was a huge. Maybe the Star Fox thing was pretty huge though. That was pretty huge. But that was that was cool and people expected some sort of team up to him again. I I would give it like a 7.5 or an 8. That's what I give it. That's what I give it. I don't think it was that bad. I think it was pretty good. I mean they they showed a lot of gameplay. I mean I I liked it. I liked it, man. Um, tonight, though, let me just go ahead and prepare you guys. Tonight, I'm going to be streaming the Sony conference. It's the finale to all of our E3 streams, right? The Sony conference is a big one. It's going to be a big deal, and I know you guys are probably pretty excited for it. Last of Us 2, just so many games like that, and even Black Ops 4 could be there, maybe? We don't know. Um, so I'm going to be doing that tonight. I'm not doing the PC gaming show because I need to upload a Black Ops 4 video. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to upload a Black Ops 4 video after the stream. And then join me tonight. I think it's at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But let me check on that really fast. Um, E3 conferences. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. Sony is tonight at... Uh, yeah, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's... 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to join me for that, that'd be amazing. That would be so much fun tonight. It's going to be the finale to all of our streams. The sixth stream I've done during E3. It's going to be crazy. Um, I'm really excited for that. People are saying Nintendo. The thing that worries me about Nintendo, I might do it, but it's just they copyright strike so much. Nintendo does so much, and it scares me, man. I don't want to get my channel striked just because I you know, showed one E3 conference from Nintendo. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But right now in my head, Sony's the last one. Right now in my head. Uh, we have still 2,000 people watching right now. Guys, we're so close to 1K likes as well. If you guys could leave a like, if the 2,000 of you guys leave a like on this video, it will help boost this video so much, dude. For, for just VOD later. If you guys could do that, I really appreciate it. Because I think we did that on all the other ones as well. And... I can't believe that many of you guys are in here. Thank you guys so much. For real. This has been a really fun week so far. Like, I past three days have been just a blast, man. 
I think by far my favorite conference so far has been the Xbox one, just because I'm a Halo fan. Um, Xbox is my favorite. Uh, EA is probably my least favorite because of Command and Conquer was so weird and that really like hurt my soul. But there was some good things in EA. I really like Battlefield and I, I liked uh, a couple of other things they showed. I mean, overall the conferences haven't been too bad this year at all. They've been pretty good. Um, Ubisoft was pretty good. Bethesda was amazing. It's been a great E3, man. It really, really has. Oh, man. What do you guys think about the division, though? Like, you think it looks better than the first thing? It looks kind of identical? You gotta play it? I don't know. Do it on Twitch? Ooh, that's an idea. That's an idea. I just don't... I've never used Twitch, so I don't have an audience over there at all. Halo suck. No, Halo doesn't suck, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. Can you tell me a little more about that? let's see. I would really like to see Watch Dogs through Splinter Cell. Yeah, I I wanted to see Splinter Cell, man. I really did. What do you think about AC Odyssey? Dude, that character looks so good. Oh, I gotta i I gotta find Hold on. Dude. She looks so freaking cool, dude. Hold on, I'm trying to find an image. Where is... Let's see, Assassin's Creed. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to see if they, they upload the Assassin's Creed thing. Oh, they did. Of the rest of your toolbox, so you're not right. changing something out, you're Where's... gaining more things. Right. And, I'm trying to, and, uh, dude, she looks so cool, Han. The lines of the, the design philosophy that we have, you're growing capability, so you can progress one specialization all the way, mm -hmm. then the next one, and the next one. And, and then, then you become get, the ultimate exactly, player. Exactly, you, you get full <laughs> flexibility to, 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 to adapt. We're gonna need to become that because we also announced today that for the first time in a division game, we have raised. Oh no, I can't find a really good image. I'm gonna tweet it out though because I freaking love her. She's awesome looking. Cassandra. My girl Cassandra, dude. I'm definitely playing as her on AC. It's gonna be sick. That's really cool that how like how much choice they have on the game, man. Like Jesus. Have you been down yet? People are saying so, so Yannick, you're playing the, uh, demolition, um, Division 2 looks legit so far. I hope it will not be getting a huge downgrade just like having a Division 1. Yeah, I think it looks kind of more like Division 1, so I don't think the downgrade's going to be as present as what happened with the first game. I think it's going to be better. Jesse's thirsty. Dude, she looks cool, man. She looks cool. When, wasn't Treyarch doing something when's that? Oh, yeah. Well, that's kind of like a separate thing from the conferences, but I'm going to be doing that Wednesday. I think I believe that's Wednesday, the Treyarch zombie stream. Well, they took, where they're going to talk about the history of zombies and possibly tease the future. We don't know. That's going to be fun. Man, thank you all so much for the 1K likes, by the way. Really appreciate it. We've had, like, the fact that this is a zombies channel and we've had streams do so well this E3 is just insane. And I'm just so happy, man. I'm really happy you guys like watching different stuff for me from time to time. It really makes me happy. All right, lads, I think I'm going to go because I need to upload a video. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. I'm on the grind, dude. I'm on the grind. I got a Zombies video. Black Ops 4 Zombies video coming out within probably like 30 minutes to an hour from now. And it's going to be great. I'm really excited. It's got your comments in it that you guys posted on Twitter because uh, I asked for you guys' feedback um, about the four map thing that happened today. That's insane. So stay tuned for that. Come check out the stream tonight at Sony. We're going to be having a good time. Maybe we'll have a special guest watching the Sony conference with me. Don't know yet. Don't know, don't know, don't know yet. I can't talk. Sorry. But uh, maybe. Just maybe. You can probably guess who that is. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a really, really good time. So thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the donations. It really, really means a lot. I will see you guys tonight for another stream. And tonight's going to be a bombastic conference i'm sure so that's gonna be hype and uh yeah orson says jc this isn't as always as a jc channel that's true man that's true thank you guys so much i will see you guys soon i'll see you guys tonight check out my video that's gonna upload like an hour from now or 30 minutes to an hour from now i'll try to get out really fast before the conference starts and we're gonna continue on four uploads today 
today technically four uploads oh my god when when did i ever do this in 2016 i've come so far i'm so proud of myself <laughs> all right see you guys